In this episode of Sage is Awesome, I'm going to talk to you about includes in Laravel Blade. So it's a Laravel Blade feature which allows you to include partials, other views, subviews, and so on into your code. Uh, but in this episode, we are just going to talk about a uh, little bit about what includes do in general, and I'm also going to show you how you can create a rudimentary SVG system for your site using those includes because as you will see they're pretty powerful when used inside of Blade. So let's just quickly go over what includes actually are. So if I check out this page in my code editor, uh, this is index.blade.php file, as you can see we are already have some includes uh, near the beginning of that template. So as you can see we have include partial page header. So what this does, so the view, views folder, uh, this one over here, the views folder is the root uh, of our views and we are calling this from our root. So partials.page header. So as you can see, this is our index.blade.php file. Then we have partials. So this is using the dot notation, partials, and then you have page header right here. So it's just calling the page header uh, partial. Uh, you can also call different views in or whatever you like. Um, and as you can see, you don't have to write .blade.php, it's going to know that you are referring to this file. So if I open this file up and do something like this, save it, uh, check out uh, that in my browser, as you can see, I get the string of text right here. Okay, so this is great. So this is what includes do in most of the templating languages, is in most of the programming languages, it, they just include parts of the code uh, into your existing code. So remind me tomorrow. I'm doing this every day for the last two weeks. You don't get that on Windows. Windows just update. Never mind. Okay, so uh, now <clears throat> we have if have posts, never mind. Uh, here we have just standard WordPress loop to list our posts. But as you can see right here, we are doing something like include partials content dash and then something. So this something, we can just see what we are getting right here. If we just do dump, dump this and check it out in the browser. As you can see, we do post. So this should refer to something like uh, partials.content dash post, right? But it actually doesn't do that for some reason. Uh, it actually works, right? But uh, as you can see in our partial, partials, we don't have content dot post. Uh, we just have content uh, dash page, content dash search, content dash single, and content blade. And it's actually calling this one content dot blade dot php. Uh, if I open up this file and add something right here, you can see that right here. So I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I suppose it's uh, when it can't find content dot uh, dash post, it just defaults to content dot blade dot php. I guess I don't know. Anyway, it works, so you can use it that way. Uh, but what I actually wanted to show you, as you can see, includes are nothing special, are nothing complicated, uh, but they they have some pretty nice features. One of those features can help us create a rudimentary SVG system, which I am going to talk about right now. So how can you include SVGs into your file? Well, you can uh, do something like EMG and then just the path to the SVG file and that's it. The problem with this is uh, you can't target that SVG with CSS and that's not really great because SVGs are great because you can target them with CSS and do some things with them, right? So we can do that. Uh, what you also can do, you can do something like, I have this YouTube icon right here, and I'm just going to copy it. As you can see, it's called youtube.blade.php. It has an SVG in it, because it's just like an HTML tag. And I could paste that in right here. If I save this, 
uh, check it out in my browser. As you can see, I get the YouTube icon right here. And now I can target it with my CSS, maybe change the fill, maybe change the paths and so on, right? But as you can see, uh, there's a lot of code right here. So we don't want to do that. What we can do using includes is something like this. So take a look at this right here. So in my views folder, I have this icons V folder and I have YouTube blade.php in it. Uh, so I can do something like at include icons v YouTube. And as you can see, just one line of code, save this, check it in the browser. And if I refresh it, we still got this icon right here. Okay, great. Uh, what's not so great about this is, uh, well, you don't want to put your icons in views. And if you put it uh, right here in assets and then icons, uh, well, you can actually access them from here, right? You can do something like this, like you would do with the normal, uh, normal paths. You would do something like uh, go up one level, then do assets, uh, and then you do images. No, uh, you would do icons and you would do YouTube. Right, but this of course will throw an error probably, right? You get this error right here, so you can't do that. What you can do, so I figured out what this view.php in the config, so you have config, assets, themes, view, what this does. So you can do something like define paths uh, that the includes will look at. So I can just copy this here paste it right here and do resources, not views, but assets, right? Save this. And now if I go to my index.blage.php, I can do something like, so this is why I called uh, this one icons V and this one in the assets, just icons. Uh, so that those two names don't clash, right? So now I can just do icons dot YouTube. Save it, go to my browser, refresh it. And now as you can see, I'm still getting that icon right here. Okay, this is great. But as I said, uh, if you have similar names right here and right here, uh, the blade might get confused on which icons do you actually mean. So instead of that, and since we are using just uh, this just for icons, you can go to view again, I'm going to delete this. And if I save it, you will see that we will get an error, right again. Uh, but you can go to the end of this file and define a namespace for for your icons. So I will actually just copy this and do something like icon is going to be uh, get theme uh, file path. And then we will do uh, resources, resources, uh, assets, icons. So this is going to put our root inside of the icons folder and namespace it. So if I save this and go to the index blade.php file, now I'm going to access this a little bit differently. Uh, you can see that actually here. So you would access it with uh, the name you gave it right here and then uh, two columns and then the template, right? Or the file or the partial that you're calling. So I can just do icons YouTube and that's it. Now this is namespaced. I don't have to uh, add this here, nothing. So this is just for my icons. Save this, go to our browser, refresh it. Oh, so no hint pad. Uh, sorry, uh, it should be icon, not icons. Save this, refresh it, and now it works. Right? Great. Okay, so this is the way you would access your icons. 
So the next thing I want to talk about is a great, great feature of those includes uh, in which you can actually send some data to your template, your sub template, uh, your icon and so on. So I'm going to show you that right now. Now, while working with the SVGs, uh, you may find yourself in the need uh, in the need to uh, let's say change the color of that icon or you maybe you want to have two variations of the icon so light and dark depending on which background they are and so on uh, so you can do that with these includes first of all i'm just going to go to this youtube.blade.php file and as you can see right here i have this fill and this is the fill of our icon. So if I change this to something like, right? So the red color, uh, go to my browser, refresh it. As you can see now, this icon is red. So what we wanna do right here is actually delete uh, this, uh, leave the original color as it was. And then we would do something like this. So remember, this is not an SVG file. This is a blade template. So uh, what, what, what I do here is I would just do if, so if something, some variable called color exists, color, then uh, show uh, that color, right? Else show the default color and then we do end if right save this go to our browser refresh it and as you can see it's showing that default color because of course the color variable does not exist as of yet but if i go to my code editor go to index.blade.php i can send that color to this include so i can do something like this color so I open up an array and I say, I want the color of this to be FF0000. So this is going to be a red color. If I save this, check it out. As you can see, now our icon is red. And of course you can do something like that for width of the, so you can do width, right? And to be something, uh, whatever. Right, so you can add as many of those variables that you want and then you can use them in those templates. Now I talked about SVG icons in this video, but you can do this for any type of partial that you need. So for the view, for the partial, for whatever you need, you can just send those variables and make those includes actually be dynamic. Okay, so this is it for this episode. Everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub, so remember that. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.